Wait a second, you might be asking yourself, am I in the right place? Is it really true that I am looking at a map while in the section of charts and graphs? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, it turns out in Google Spreadsheets, there is the GeoMap uh, under the Graphs and Charts section. And in this case, we have a map with colors that designate values that are associated with the map's locations. So in this case, you see different gradations of green. We have a dark green, a little bit of a lighter green, and a very light green. And this, these colors all mean something. Now in this case, what the colors mean are the level of proficiency in a language. So in this case, you are a native English speaker. And so at that point, all the areas within this map that speak English will be represented by a dark green. You also have some basic proficiency in Mandarin. So as such, the lighter green area is represented in Asia, which is where you would be able to use your Mandarin skills. And finally, you took Spanish class in high school, so you have some basic knowledge of Spanish. And so the light green areas are then representing Spanish-speaking countries. Okay, so it's a neat little map. It's known as a geomap. And let's learn how we can create this. In sheet one, I've created a little key to remind ourselves what the colors mean. So again, the dark green is native, um, lighter green proficient, and the, the lightest green is elementary. Okay, and again, it's English, Mandarin, and Spanish. And so what we have here to set up a geo map, you need the following columns. The first column will be the location name or the region. Okay, so 100, and the second column, let me go into it, the second column represents the numeric value that will reflect the color density. Okay, so you really only need two columns in order to create a geo map. The first is the region, the second is a numeric value. The numeric value will correspond with the color density. So in our little key here, the number 100 corresponds with the color density of dark green, 75 is the mid green, and 50 is the light green. So as you can see in this list, all the countries that include English as a speaking um, language has the number followed by 100. Down below is 75 represents all the countries where Mandarin is spoken, and 50 uh, is all the countries where Spanish is spoken. So to create the geo map, you highlight this area here, all the data points that you want reflected in your map. Click on insert, followed by chart. At that point, you'd go into the charts area and click on map. At that point, you would see that there is a geo chart dash regions option. If you click on that, you'll see that your draft um, appears to the right. Before we insert the chart, let's customize it. And one important element I'd like to share with you about customization is the color scheme here. Now, in the chart example that you saw earlier, I created a background with blue to represent the water. The colors that I use, I didn't make it so uh, contrasting in terms of green and red. I want to use different densities of colors of green, okay, so that your proficiency is measured by a maximum value of a dark green followed by a mid-level proficiency, which is Mandarin, of a lighter green or a mid-green. And the lightest color here would be representing um, just a basic elementary knowledge of, in this case, Spanish. And at that point, once you click on Insert, you will have a chart that appears very similar to the one you see here. Okay, so there you have it, GeoMap. Feel free to check it out, and we'll see you next time.